Okay guys, so before this tutorial starts, I want you to check out RaymondDigital.com. It's basically a website where you can get like really awesome high quality intro templates that are really easy to edit. All the info is in the description down below. <laughs> What's up guys, my name is Alex, welcome back to the last phase 14 tutorial of today and in this second video I'm going to show you guys how to remove the green screen uh, from your background in Vegas 14. So let's say that you recorded yourself like I did right there with the green screen behind you. I'm going to show you guys how to get rid of that really easy. So I would say uh, let's get started. So as you can see we have a little clip. Uh, of me talking it's a, that's almost a year old and i'm going to show you guys how to remove this green and everything so the first thing that we need to do i'm just going to import a solid color so i'm going to go over to media generators and i'm going to pick the color uh let's say blue we're going to place that underneath our track so we can see what we're like removing from the green and how we can fine tune it so the first thing we need to do is drag in a solid color and once we did that we're going to go over to video effects and we're going to pick the chroma key now we're going to hold our mouse on there we're going to drag that guy on top of a video track of the green screen and as you can see right now it already turns kind of bluish but what you want to do first is you want to uncheck the green you know the chroma key then we want to click on this little colored bar then we're going to go over to click on this pencil and then we're going to just click on a place where it's the finest green so i'm going to click right here as you can see right now nothing happens because we need to check this so boom as you can see when we check this the, the blue, you know, the blue solid color is all already shining through, but we need to fine tune a few things. So we're going to mess around with the color, with the low threshold and the high threshold. Not really with the blur amount, but just those three. So as you can see, we're going to first start off with the low threshold. Let's see, that does nothing really great. So I'm going to over to the high threshold. Let's just bring that down. And as you guys can see, if I drag this guy around to the middle, it removes the background. But it's not really that clear so what we're going to do is we're going to click on this little color bar and we're going to move this guy around as you can see until the blue is completely shown so if i do it like this that looks pretty good so let's say we're going to pick a different color let's just go over and let's pick uh, yellow and as you can see we still have some colors right there like at the, at the corner so we're going to still move around this little icon through the entire color bar until the yellow you know bright yellow color is showing up so if we're going to move around and fine tune those three until they are good this looks actually pretty good but we have some uh yellow right in, like there that's that looks freaking great as you can see first of all we, we had some yellow like between me but i'm just going to go and keep lowering this one until it looks great but in the corner we have still that so we're going to just move around until that blue in the corner is also gone like this now the color is completely removed the green one now we can place uh, a yellow one a blue one as you can see we can even drag in a red one my background is gone it is that simple let's drag in an orange one still the background is completely gone you can play as in any image you want let's say i'm going to pick something else um, let's say like this soft clouds and drag it in as you can see boom that is the symbol is so this is how you remove a green screen guys you just want to use the chroma key fine tune a little bit and you should be able to figure it out so that's this for the video guys thank you guys for watching thank you guys for the continued support and thank you guys for over 80,000 subscribers i cannot imagine a better audience than you guys so that's the symbol is thank you guys for watching and i will catch you guys tomorrow for two evolving into better youtuber episodes on saturday so i will see you guys tomorrow so that is it for the video guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to smash the like button down below and also subscribe button at the bottom. So thank you for the continued support. If you want to see more content, make sure to click right here. That's it for today. Thank you guys and I'll see you guys tomorrow.